In today's video, we'll be doing a comparison between Wordplay.ai, Creator.ai, and WordHero. All three of these tools are AI copywriters which allow you to generate both short and long-form copy such as blog posts, articles, Facebook ads, product descriptions, and pretty much any other type of copy that you can think about. Even though they're all AI copywriters, they have very specific features and functionality that really separates them from each other. So let's go ahead and do a comparison between the three to figure out which AI copywriter may be best suited for you and for your use case. In order to do this, we'll be taking a look at the pricing, the specific templates and features included. We'll also be comparing the quality of output between these AI copywriters. And lastly, we'll be taking a look at how easy or beginner friendly each one of these tools are. And stick around because at the end of this video, I'll be doing an overall rating of each one of these tools and also giving my recommendation of which tool you should use based upon the type of business or the type of content in which you're creating. Let's get started by taking a look at the pricing for all three of these tools. Luckily, at the time of recording this video, all of the mentioned tools have a lifetime deal available on AppSumo. Let's start by taking a look at Word Hero. Word Hero is probably the most popular AI copywriter on AppSumo. They have a lot of five-star reviews and they're very well known within the AI copywriting space. The lifetime deal starts at $89 and this would give you unlimited copy, but this does not include the long form editor. So the long form editor is where you'd actually be able to create long form copy such as blog posts and articles. And this is one of the most important features for an AI copywriter. So you would most likely have to add this on if you wanted to get Word Hero. If you were to add on the long form editor, it would be an additional $89. Word Hero would be a total of $178 one-time payment for unlimited copy and all of the features and templates included in Word Hero. Creator.ai, on the other hand, is a fairly new AI copywriter and the lifetime deal starts at $89. And all of the features and templates are included for that $89 and you also have unlimited copy. So you have unlimited copy, you have all short and long-form features all included for a one-time payment of $89. Wordplay is also another fairly new AI copywriter and it starts at a one-time payment of $99. But for that $99, you only get 1500 words included, but you also have the ability to stack your codes. So if you wanted to get more words per month, you can go ahead and get two codes. So you would have to pay $200 and that would give you 15,000 words. If you paid $300, that would give you 22,000 words. And if you paid $400, that would give you 30,000 words per month. Actually on Wordplay, you get 7,500 words for $99. So these are the pricing differences between the three tools. If we're looking at just pricing, we can see that creator.ai is the best option when it comes to pricing. It's one of the lowest cost um, one-time payment, but it also has all of the features and it has unlimited copy included. But of course, we don't want to just base our assumptions only on pricing. You wanna go ahead and take a look at the features and the quality of the AI copywriter to make sure that it's worth the money that you're paying. But honestly, all of these tools are very well priced. Word Hero, again, you can get unlimited copy and all of the tools included for a one-time payment of $178. But of course, if you're looking at just pricing, then creator.ai is the lowest price with the most features and templates included. I'll go ahead and leave a link for all three of these tools in the description below this video. Now that we were able to take a look at pricing, let's go ahead and take a look at specific templates included in these tools. Starting with Word Hero, these are the templates included. So as we can see, they are categorized by the type of content in which you may be creating. So if you wanted to create business content, then you have business specific templates such as product benefits, startup elevator pitch, product names, marketing ideas. Under marketing, we can see that we have a lot of different templates here, such as Facebook ads, email templates, FAQs, blog topics, blog intros, sales page templates, SEO templates, and then you have your social media templates, your writing tools, and then you also have some miscellaneous templates such as poems, fictional story ideas, and food recipes. Now those are the short form templates included in Word Hero. If we head over to the editor, and this is the additional $89 um, editor that is available on AppSumo, this is where you'd be able to construct and write your long form blog post or articles. There's a lot of very long form specific features included in this template. So essentially, 
if you wanted to create a blog outline you can go ahead and do so by clicking the generate a blog outline button this will allow you to generate content for a blog paragraph and you also have the write more feature which will um, expand any content that you like so you just want to go ahead and highlight that content and then go ahead and click either blog paragraph or write more or outline just depending on whatever content you're trying to generate. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the templates included in creator.ai. So we can see that the different types of templates are categorized based upon the type of content. So we have blog um, specific templates here. We have digital ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, and Pinterest ads. We have e-commerce, so product descriptions, Shopify product descriptions, and Amazon product descriptions. Social media, we have photo post captions, we have Facebook captions, LinkedIn post. Under video, we have some YouTube specific templates. And under writer, we have some headlines, some text summary, some content improvers, content rewrite, and so on and so forth. So as you can see, a lot of templates also included here within creator.ai. And if you wanted to go ahead and write long form content, you can head over to the editor. And on the editor, this is where, again, you'd be able to create some long form content. And you also have access to all of the short form templates on the left hand side here. Wordplay is a little different when compared to creator.ai and Word Hero. Instead of having specific short and long form templates, they only have long form templates that allow you to generate blog posts in a couple of clicks. So there's a couple of ways in which you can create full length blog posts on Wordplay. So one is by using the keyword mode. So essentially, you'd go ahead and enter a variety of related keywords about a specific blog post topic in which you'd like to create, and the AI will go ahead and create a full length blog post for you. The second method is the outline mode. So you can go ahead and enter the outline for that specific blog post in which you'd like to create, and then add the subsections as well, and go ahead and submit the job, and the AI, again, will create a full length blog post based upon the titles and the subtopics that you included. And the third mode is the title mode. Essentially, all you have to do is enter a title for an article in which you would like to create, and the AI will create the full link blog post for you. In terms of templates, I would have to give it to Word Hero over Wordplay and Creator.ai. Out of all three of these tools, they have the most templates and the most different use cases in which you can choose from. Creator.ai does have some specific templates as well, but when I look at just sure number, Word Hero has a lot more templates. And Wordplay doesn't really have specific short or long form templates. Now that we've taken a look at some of the specific templates, let's go ahead and look at the features included in these tools. When it comes to features, Word Hero is lacking some important features that will make the tool a lot better. So when you use some of the other AI copywriters, you'd have access to tools such as SEO tools, which will allow you to optimize the blog posts or your content when you're creating it. You would also have access to plagiarism checkers, which means you can check for plagiarized content right within that tool. And there's not many integrations, so you can't really integrate Word Hero with another tool. On creator.ai, there's a couple of features included that are kind of cool. So we have the translate feature. So this allows you to translate any text. All you'd have to do is go ahead and paste that content and you can go ahead and translate it over into any language that you like. But again, they're still missing some very important features such as SEO features, uh, plagiarism checkers, integrations, the ability to post your content or your blog post right from the AI copywriter to your WordPress site would also be a nice feature that uh, they could have included here. For both Word Hero and Creator.ai, I am a little bit disappointed in some of the features that are not included. And this is kind of the same story as well on Wordplay. You are able to create very, very good content very quickly using their built-in tools. But again, we don't really see any SEO mode. So the ability to really optimize the blog post after we've went ahead and created it on the tool. In terms of features, I'd give them all a score of three out of five. Now let's go ahead and compare the quality of output we can expect from these three AI copywriters. So let's go ahead and generate some content for a specific blog post topic and get a feel for the differences in quality between the three tools. Let's go ahead and enter our title, which would be how to improve your diet and lose weight. Let's go ahead and generate an outline for this specific blog post. So all we did was highlighted that um, content and clicked the blog outline button. Okay, and if you wanted to go ahead and get some content for a specific paragraph, go ahead and highlight that paragraph and hit the block paragraph button. Okay, so we got an awesome paragraph there. Again, just go ahead and repeat the process. So for the second um, subtopic, let's go ahead and highlight that and click block paragraph. 
Okay, so we got another really, really good paragraph here from Word Hero. So you'd wanna go ahead and repeat the process and just go ahead and highlight the headlines and be able to generate some content for those specific headlines. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy the title, head back over to creator.ai, paste that in here, and let's see how that compares to um, the outline in which we got back from Word Hero. So now, if we wanted to go ahead and expand on that content, let's go ahead and use the blog intro so we can get a nice intro for this specific blog post. Go ahead and click create. Okay, so we had a lot of content here. Now let's go ahead and just rearrange our content so it makes sense. And if you wanted to generate some body paragraph, go ahead and copy the title, paste it in here. So as we see, we get a lot of content here from um, creator.ai. So you may wanna go ahead and reduce the amount of inputs. But again, this is good because you can go ahead and just read through this and copy and paste whatever makes sense into your blog post. So I'm not gonna go ahead and finish this full blog post because that would take way too long, but I highly recommend that you go out and give this a try. You can even go ahead and do a free trial just so that you have a feel of the quality compared to some of the other AI copywriters. But we're getting a lot of content here and when I went ahead and read through them, it's actually pretty high quality content as well. Now let's go ahead and copy the title and head over to Wordplay and we're going to use the title mode. We're just going to go ahead and paste that title for that blog post. Okay, so we've went ahead and just added an article title to Wordplay. Now let's go ahead and see um, what type of blog post we can get back from Wordplay. So it's finished now. That probably took about 20 seconds, which is very impressive. And as you can see, we get a pretty decent blog post. I would like it to be a lot longer than this because it did say that it would be a thousand words. Let's go ahead and see how many words this is. It's about half of that, so about 500 words. So I would like a lot more words here. When I've done some blog posts within the past, I was able to get a lot more content. I'm not sure if I've hit my limit in terms of how many words are included, but I've went ahead and read through this and the content is pretty good, pretty high quality content. But again, the quantity is not there for sure. Um, you definitely wanna go ahead and add some more content into this. For quality, I'd give Wordplay a score of 3.5 out of five. Sometimes it's really, really good quality content, but sometimes it can be a little bit of a hit or miss. So for that reason, I'd give them a score of 3.5. For Word Hero, I'd give them a score of 4.5 out of five. This is some of the best quality content that you can get. One of the most popular AI copywriters in the market. And for creator.ai, even though it's a fairly new AI copywriter, it looks very, very promising. You're able to generate a lot of content when you use their long form editor and the quality is pretty good. So for those reasons, I'd give it a score of 4.0 out of five. And for ease of use, I'd give Wordplay a score of 4.5 out of five. It is stupidly simple to use. All you have to do is enter a title or a keyword or an outline, and you'd be able to get a full length blog post. I'd give Word Hero a score of 4.0 out of five, and that's because it's also one of the most easiest to use AI copywriters. As you guys saw, we're able to generate an outline and a couple of really high quality body paragraphs very quickly. For creator.ai, I'd give them a score of 3.5 out of five. I think they need to do some improvements on their UI. Um, the functionalities are a little bit tricky to use, especially if you're new to using AI copywriters. And I think that's because they're a fairly new AI copywriter, but I do think if they are able to improve how easy it is to use, it would improve the overall tool. Overall, if you're looking for an all-in-one AI copywriter with both short and long form templates, then I would recommend Word Hero. If you're looking to create a lot of content very quickly, then I would recommend Wordplay or creator.ai. As we saw with Wordplay, you're able to create a lot of content very quickly, but you may need to buff it up by using another AI copywriter. If you like this video, then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.